welcome to taking the college route with Bongi. My name is Bongi Kile Khalakhala and today we are going to be talking about earthing and bonding. This video is long overdue but I have a really good reason why I did not want to make this video yet. The reason is that I wanted to go for the earthing and bonding course so that I can come back here and give you guys professional advice on earthing and bonding. But now because I am not going to be going for that class anytime soon. I decided to come back here and make this video for you guys because it is important for everyone who consumes electricity to know what earthing and bonding is and why it is important uh, for each and every house to be earthed and bonded. Another reason is that this information that I'm going to be giving you guys here is very important for my next video where I'm going to be talking about the test that we uh, performed at the training center when I went for my women's license assessment. Uh, it, it's gonna be easier for you guys to understand when you have this knowledge about earthing and bonding. So earthing and bonding or continuity of bonding is one of the tests that we had done at the training center. Now without wasting time, let us get into the video. So here's the order of this video. I am going to tell you what bonding is, then tell you what earthing is, then tell you what is it exactly that needs to be bonded around the house, and then conclude with why it is important for all of this or for earthing and bonding to be done in every household that has electricity. So bonding is connecting all metal parts around the house everything that is metal around the house uh, connecting it all together that is bonding then earthing is taking all that has been connected together and using an earth rod something called an earth rod to connect it to the ground you dig for that egg rod you <laughs> I just said egg, oh my God. You dig for that earth rod into the ground, um, a certain number of meters to the ground, and then you put it on there. Then you have uh, everything that has been bonded connected to that earth rod into the ground. Now had I went for that earthing and bonding course, uh, I would know exactly the meters that you need, but I'm going to come back, don't worry, with this information when I have went for the course. For now, let us just talk about basic knowledge. Okay, I have told you what earthing, what bonding is, and told you what earthing is. Now I must tell you guys, what is it exactly that needs to be bonded around the house? Your, everything that is metal, like I've already mentioned. So your down pipes, your water pipes, which, okay, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you might have seen a post that I made uh, about how why you would touch your water pipes and then or not your water pipes your tap and then you get shocked that means that your house has not been bonded or earthed All right so in order for you for that to stop you need to bond and earth your house now what is it that needs to be bonded it's your water pipes because by Bond, uh, by bonding your water pipes then it means your taps will not will also be automatically bonded all right so you bond your water pipes your down pipes your hot water cylinder which is your giza your giza must be earthed and bonded and then you put little strips of earth wire on all those things together uh, to your down pipes from your gizzard to your down pipes to your water pipes to everything that is metal Sometimes your distribution box has a metal part at the back of it It also needs to be earthed and bonded to the ground So you put all of them together, which is your bonding and then you connect them to the earth rod That goes to the ground Now, why is this important? E earthing and bonding is basically done to protect people and animals from electrical shock like I said, if your house is not bonded, your taps are going to shock you. Your, if, if, if your water pipes are not bonded, your taps are, are bonded or earthed, your taps are going to shock you. Your um, water is going to shock you. So it is very important for that to be done in each and every household that has 
electricity that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe if you think there's anything that i might have missed on this video like i said i have not done the course i'm just giving you guys basic knowledge just add to it on the comments down below i'm looking forward to hearing from you and if you got to this part of the video this is quite a short one please comment with oh there's this emoji that i like that i overuse so much the one that has a smiley face and then it has hands like this so please comment with that emoji uh if you have gone to this part of the video please subscribe to the channel comment uh share this video so that other people may see them and come back here then subscribe thank you so much for watching this video from me to you right now it is goodbye i will see you on my next video take care